Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own dog house. Now this is gonna be a dog house that's only suitable for small to medium breeds, but it's really easy and super cheap. I can make this for less than $30. Uh, so what you need first is a large plastic tote like this one. Um, this is a 50 gallon one. You can get a larger one depending on the size of your dog. We have a 30 pound beagle who uh, this dog house would be just fine for. Uh, this is also a dog house that uh, isn't going to be like a permanent shelter. It's not going to be something there you're going to leave your dog in for long periods of time. It's just something to give them a little bit of shelter when they're outside. So uh, the first thing that you want to do is measure your dog's height and you want to make the opening as high as uh, necessary. So if you have a smaller dog, oh, there's dog hair all over this tote. Surprise, surprise in our house. Um, so if you have a smaller, like a Yorkie or a Chihuahua, you might only need a short uh, door. But if you have a taller dog, like our Beagle, uh, I'm gonna, I would actually want a door that's uh, as tall as my Rubbermaid tote. So I'm just gonna draw an outline of the door that I want. And then uh, you can use an X-Acto knife or a box cutter to cut out your door. And uh, that's pretty much the outline of your doghouse. And that part is really simple. So once you have this part of your doghouse done, uh, you can put bedding on the inside. Uh, if you're making this for stray animals, feral cats, things like that, uh, you could put some straw in there. Uh, and you also want to secure it to the ground. So I buy these tent stakes. Uh, they are only 50 cents at our local Walmart and uh, you can drill a hole in the bottom and drive your uh, stakes down into the ground in the four corners at least. You might want to put one in the middle on each side too. That's up to you how secure you want it, but that will keep it from uh, moving around if it's a really gusty day or anything like that. So it would be secure to the ground. Uh, you can also, if you'd like to, drill some holes up here above your door and hang um, a piece of a vinyl tablecloth or a thin rubber mat um, and you can secure it with zip ties in the holes that you drilled. You just wanna make sure that whatever you have isn't too heavy because you want to keep ventilation for your dog. Um, I don't put anything over it, I just keep it like this and uh, then the animals can come and go as they please and if they wanna be in out of the wind, they always have this end of the dog house. So um, thanks for watching this video guide. I hope this helps you make a cheap and easy homemade dog house.